Hello, everyone, and welcome to a Lifter LMS release. This is uh, de December 2nd, 2015. And in this quick video, we're going to go over some of the main uh, new features, updates, and bug fixes that are coming through with uh, release of Lifter LMS version 1.4.1. I'll hand it over to you, Mark. What's what's new? What's happening? What's in this new release? So there's a few new features that I'll go over right now just to show everybody what's new. Um, kind of the first new feature is the customizable buttons for on courses. So it kind of rolls into two different features. So in the Lifter LMS settings courses section now, there's a course purchase button text and a membership sign up button text and you can put whatever text you want in there that's what's going to display inside the button on the course so you can put whatever you want in there for the buttons and then it can make a little more sense to users so that's yeah. so just to be clear that's uh you can sell a course uh you can put a price on it and a course can be included in a membership also, so you would have two ways to get access to the course. You could purchase the course one off or you could get access to it by joining a membership. So if you're doing both, that's why two buttons display. Is that a good way to explain it, Mark? Yeah, and that's kind of one of the other updates that we did. We've had a lot of um, back and forth with different users. Users seem to have different uh, requirements. Some users want the if they have the course restricted to a membership, they want the button to take them to that membership. Some people want to be able to sell the courses. So they want people to be able to buy the membership or purchase the course. So the button functionality that we had originally with the single button, we could never please everybody with the button. So we came up with an additional button, which is a membership button. So if a course is restricted to a membership, then there's another button that'll show up and that's what you can customize the text here. So I have free with membership for that button. And the difference between these two buttons here is single course only. That's going to take me to purchase the course. Well, if I click on free with membership, that's going to shoot me out over to the membership so I can purchase the membership so that I, then I can take the course for free. That's awesome. So if I don't put anything into those uh, text fields in the back end, what, what, what's going to display on my buttons so they're going to default to uh what the button was originally the course button is going to say take this course which is what everybody has right now on their current builds of lifter lms and the membership button is going to be defaulted to become a member so you can override that and put in whatever makes sense for your lms platform awesome yeah. work thanks mark no problem yeah this the theme of this release is kind of just giving a little bit more power to the users as far as customization. Um, the other quick little feature that I wanted to show everybody was just another little customization thing. On the course, when you're looking at a single price, and this is kind of an answer to some people wanting to display free as the price or display something unique. There's a new option here to display custom text for the single price. So I've got $20 in as my single price, but I could put in like it's only $20. Or we'll do something like only $20 by now. And then when I update that, that will display instead of the current default, which is single payment of $20. Where that's really beneficial is if I don't have anything in my single price, and this is a free course, but I want to tell them that it's free. I can just put something like free in here and update the course. And then f instead of displaying nothing for the price, which was the original default, it will now display free. So that's just another thing to give users a little bit more control over what gets displayed on the screen for the course. That's awesome. Um, I think one of the other features on the list coming in here is just uh, some quality of life stuff for people that are using the PayPal payment gateway. If you go into Lifter LMS settings and head on over to integrations, or excuse me, head on over to gateways, 
On the Panda Gateway, we now have it a debug mode. If you're having any issues where you were getting a white screen or it doesn't seem to be working properly, it's not communicating with PayPal correctly, you can go ahead and enable debug mode. And then you can go through and see what the errors that PayPal is returning for you. So that would help us if, uh, if, if you know what you're doing, you'll see the errors and you'll, and you'll know what you need to resolve. If you don't know what you're doing and you see the errors, it really helps us when you submit a request for some help. If we can see what the error is, we can answer your question right away. Awesome. So yeah, if you turn the enable debug mode on and you get an error message back from PayPal, just copy and paste that to your email to help at lifterlms.com and we'll help you get sorted what to do from there. Um, the other part of this that's more of a bug fix was instead of getting a white screen now, your users are going to get returned an error message. Um, it's not going to be the, the code that PayPal responds. It'll be a much cleaner, nicer error message to them. So, What would an example error message be like? What would it say to a user? There was a, fa there was a failure communicating with the payment gateway. Right. So then so if your user like tells you that, then, may, then you know that you have some issues with how you've connected PayPal to your Lyft or LMS. Right, and typically what we've seen is being in sandbox mode with production credentials or incorrect credentials, having the signature um, not have all of the characters. And PayPal will let you know a lot of that, what the issue is when you try to submit, whether it's the credentials don't work or there is an actual error because your account isn't set up properly. It'll, it'll send you back all types of error messages for that. Awesome. Um, some of the other little things, we updated the support links to our new support channels, um, put in some stuff in there. Um, a handful of minor CSS styling things to, for some theme compatibility and just overall better experience. Um, and then a handful of bug fixes from some of our client requests and things that we've come across as we were working on the new release. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Mark. Thanks for taking us on a tour of version 1.4.1. 1. Uh, if you, uh, you can just grab access to that by going to your plugins and you'll see that there's an update available for Lifter LMS. You can also go to lifterlms.com, go to your My Account page and you can download uh, the latest version or, or check the status of your account and make sure your license is still current. If for some reason you're not seeing the update link uh, you may need to renew your license and you can check that out, the status of that at lifterlms.com.